What is going on everybody? Welcome to episode number two of the Ultimate Iron Man Maybe Road to Max series. So the last one I did stop at 85 fire making, so we're just going to continue from there. Also, the last video, the amount of like support on it is insane. I didn't expect you guys to want uh, Ultimate Iron Man content this much, but apparently a lot of people don't uh, record their Ultimate Iron Man from the start, so it's new content for a lot of people. But I'm really excited to do this account. Um, we're going to continue grinding out 99 fire making. I'll see you guys if something interesting happens or... Maybe once I hit 90. So uh, my hardcore Iron Man is maxed now. So this is all going to be like real time now. Um, the level games from when I maxed my hardcore this week. I did run out of members on this account since I hadn't played it for like five months. So um, I did spawn in Lumbridge. I decided since I was there, I was going to go and get more pineapples. So I bought about 200 more pineapples. I still don't know if that's going to be enough to get me 99, honestly. But I am up to 87 fire making, uh, 52 fletching, and the construction is starting to go up quickly as well. Oh my god, no fucking way, dude. Oh my god. Uh, oh, did, oh, I just got a dragon axe. At level 87. Holy crap. I, what? That's a 1 in 10,000 drop rate. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What? There's one thing that I haven't been doing here that I probably messed up on, and I'm already 87, and I don't know how many of these I've gotten, but I should have been taking all of the, like, anchovies and stuff I can cook, like the shrimp, anchovies, sardines. I should have been taking all of these, unnoting them, and actually using them on the fires here to get my cooking up. I wasn't thinking about doing that, so I definitely miss out on a lot of cooking levels from that, uh, but thankfully I thought of it now so I can still get some of those out of the way. But yeah, I still can't believe I just got that dragon axe. I'll probably update you guys again once I get to 90 fire making. Uh, I have all the pieces as well except for the tome. So probably the only reason you guys will see me again before 90 fire making is if I get the tome. All right, so I want to be the first one to say that um, I'm an idiot. I thought that broad arrows were 55 fletching when in reality they were 52. I was looking at the level for broad bolts. I guess it's not that big a deal since making broad bolts is still pretty useful and I'll probably end up needing it in the future anyway. But the main method of getting 99 fletching on this count is going to be the broad arrows. So I'm going to stop fletching now. I'm only going to fletch if I'm not going to hit the 500 points because I want to make sure that I get a crate. Also, I did get to 90 fire making. And the construction is up to 24. I'm trying to figure out like what level to do updates at. And I decided why not do it at 92 since it's halfway to 99. I was up to 17 cooking from cooking all those anchovies. Uh, 26 construction as well. I started to collect oak logs for construction after fire making. Since uh, having a house, like a high level construction for a house on ultimate is pretty much like the most important thing. Uh, for all the stuff it can hold. I also need to start collecting the teak logs, but I haven't really had any of those as a drop for a while. It's like I mentioned to you guys before, there's going to be a lot of stuff I uh, don't think of. And I don't have a looting bag because I have no method at the moment of actually getting back to Winterton. I don't really mind it as much though because the supplies early on, they're really not going to make a difference that far into the account. I can just do quests for like most of the lower levels. Honestly, I didn't know when to do the next update. I was just going to do it at 99, but I figured the jump from 92 to 99 is so far. So so I'm just doing it at 96. Uh, cooking is also up to level 30, which is kind of crazy just from cooking like anchovies and trouts. Uh, construction is up to 33. I actually just got that level while I'm recording this. So that's a pretty high construction level. I still don't have a Tome of Fire. Uh, I was really hoping that I get that. I can't use it till 50 magic, but it's really nice for questing. Since the majority of the quests early on, you pretty much just safe spot and use mage. And the Tome of Fire increases your, I believe it increases your hits by like 50% or something crazy like that. Um, I'm also running out of pineapples. I think I've used like 600 total now and i'm still not 99 so i'm probably gonna have to go and buy more of those so i was planning to actually do the final update at 99 it's been about 3 mil xp since the last one but i did get the tome of fire i'm like 500k away from 99 and i finally got this i was getting worried about it i have like 400 pages and i would have just had to drop them one more item i did start collecting now is guams as well this is another thing i wish i thought of early on because uh, making attack pots at level three you could pretty much just buy the Eye of Newts from the store. It's like the perfect herb to start a Herbler off with. So I have 21 of those right now. I have no idea how many I'm going to end with. There it is, guys. 99 fire making. Uh, first 99 in the account done. Pretty nice to get. Uh, in the middle of this freaking kill, so I think I'm just going to finish it for the extra crate really quick. So uh, 37 construction, 23 XP away from getting to 38. So we got really, really high in that. Also 35 cooking. I did get another fletching level as well. 
and also 66 wood cutting. Oh, I could have just gotten a construction level there too if I was paying attention. Fuck. So um, I didn't quite reach the amount of coins I was hoping for. I was hoping to get maybe like 1.3, 1.4 mil. Uh, I don't know if they changed it a little bit more. 528 silver ore, and I could have just gotten it again there. A uh, thousand pure essence, a bunch of teaks and oaks, and I only have 21 guams. That should still be enough for a few early levels, though. All right, so here are the last crates. Let's see if we get something crazy from these. I'm really not expecting much, honestly. Maybe some, like, noted trouts or salmons or something, because I'm stupid and I wasn't thinking ahead to where I need food now, and it would have been nice to have, like, 200 noted uh, trouts. I need to plan out what I'm going to do now. With Firemaker, it was pretty much just a set-in-stone thing that I was going to do at the start of the account. But um, now I have to start planning stuff out, so I'm probably going to spend about a half an hour doing that, and I'll come back and let you guys know what my plan is uh, for maybe the next five or six skills I want to do. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes now. I'm trying to plan out everything. Like, the main goal right now is to plan out everything to where I can use all the supplies I have to get rid of them, and also to try to get Waterfall done ASAP because I have to um, go into Glarial's Tomb, which requires you to pretty much not have uh, any gear on or anything. I'm actually going to show you guys my plan on the screen right now. This is for the people who are following this. If they make an Ultimate Iron Man to see what I do. Of course, it won't be exactly the same for you unless you collect all the same items from Wintertide that I did. Uh, there could be some flaws with this. You guys can point it out in the comments if you want. Um, I worked with it with somebody else who's been playing old Iron Man for a while. And I can't really see any flaws with it right now. But we might run into them while we're doing this. So uh, The first thing starting off with this is I'm going to trade my Pyro pieces in for extra crates. I was going to store this in my house, but there's really no need for it anymore since I don't plan to go back to Winter Todd. So, uh, may, I don't know, maybe we'll end up getting something good from this. Let's see here. All right, what do we get from this crate? Uh, sapphire, tea, I got some more teaks, that's nice. And some more coins. And with the warm gloves, we get absolutely nothing. So first things first, I'm going to make my way to the Catherby Fishing Shop, get some raw food, and cook it. And I'm also going to be picking up the cheese from Draenor when I'm running to Port Serum because I'm going to be needing that for the Witch's House quest. So I was actually going to Port Serum because I was going to make my way to uh, Catherby and go to the fishing shop there and try to buy some raw food and cook it. But I completely forgot that nothing there is, like, ever in stock. So I had to uh, resort back to getting some pineapples. I mean, I'm 10 HP right now, so... Uh, I guess pineapples really aren't going to be that bad. I mean, if I get hit by one of the monsters in Witch's House later on, I'm probably just going to get one hit anyway, so... Okay, so uh, starting off here, we need to buy some runes to get up to 13 magic. I also need some for uh, Witch's House as well. So uh, this should be a decent amount of uh, mind and air runes. This is like 300, I believe, cast, so I should be good with that. I also want to go to Zaf here and buy a Staff of Fire. Of course, you guys know this gives bonuses, and it also gives you unlimited fire runes, since I can't use my Tome of Fire right now. To get to level 13, I'm pretty much just going to do what I usually would do on Deadman mode, and that's uh, attack these guards here, and then just run out of their attack range so they can't attack me. Of course, this isn't Deadman mode, so it's going to take a lot longer to get, but I will be back once I do manage to get to 13 magic. All right, there's the 13 magic I need. I'm pretty much out of runes, so I need to go and buy a little bit more of these, but I can use uh, Fire Strike now. I'm hoping it's going to be enough for Witch's House. Um, I know you can't save spot the first two that it spawns, so I'm hoping that these stupid pineapples are going to be enough to be able to tank through that. But nonetheless, let's start the first quest of the account. All right, this is a really random update. I was partway through the quest. Uh, you guys see got the diary, the magnet, and everything. And then I remembered... Um, this is really random. I was thinking about my food and how I'm probably going to end up dying using all these stupid pineapples. Uh, so I'm actually just going to drop all of these now because from remembering this, I don't need them anymore. I remembered back to when Bodhi was doing demo mode a few seasons ago and he actually used this shop right here. It is on Karamja, uh, right here in Brimhaven. And you can buy from this guy uh, Karam wand, swordfish, lobsters, tunas, cods, and herrings. So uh, for any of you Ultimate Iron Man or even Iron Man out there that need some food, this is a pretty good shop to get it from. Um, I guess they're kind of expensive, but at the end of the day, it's definitely good to get, and this is going to be a lot easier for me than uh, having to suffer through using pineapples. But uh, anyway, now that I have this, I'm going to get back to the quest. That's nice. When the spider spawned, I got like a seven second lag spike. Perfect time for it to happen. I'm actually happy that I decided to go and get this food too, because if I had pineapples here, I uh, definitely would have been screwed. But with those first two dead, I'm pretty much done here. These last two, I can just save spot. So from that very nice ordeal, I did manage to get myself to 15 magic and almost 16. This is going to be in the quest here. 25 hit points, 4 quest points. Didn't realize it gave that much, but 
25 HP is going to be nice for Waterfall Quest. Um, I can't remember what the Moss Giants actually max at. But I still remember last time I went 25 HP, I still almost died. It hit me, and then I went to, like, check the chest, and it hit me again while I was on the chest. I still have a bunch of food left, too. I'm probably just going to keep this in my inventory um, until I need inventory space. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to decide to end it here. The next video, the first thing we're going to be doing is the Waterfall Quest, which means I'm going to have to suicide on this account for the first time in order to enter Glarial's tomb. Uh, you guys will see how I do that in the next video. Uh, once again, all the support on the first video has been actually insane. Uh, I think at this point it has like 1,200 likes on it, and it got the most views within 24 hours in like my last 20 videos or something insane. So I'm glad to see that you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to keep breaking it down like I am now for the people who uh, want to have an idea of what to do on early game Ultimate Iron Man. This is in no means meant to be a guide, but it's still meant to be helpful and progress at the same time. I don't know when the next video is going to be. I need to get back to killing some more Zora on my hardcore and uh, try to get that freaking blowpipe. But I'm still going to be trying to play both of them at the same time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully in the next one we can get even more stuff done.